and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks within less than five minutes so without wasting time let's get started today's problem is non-overlapping intervals which is marked as a medium level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given one intervals array which is a 2d array of integer type let's see the constraints as well so intervals array length can be from 1 to 10 raised to the power 5 and intervals i length will always be 2 okay and third thing is that the intervals elements can be from 0 to 5 into 10 raised to the power 4 okay all right let's see what we have to do so basically these intervals 2d array basically signifies the intervals array which we can say as a meetings so there is a meeting from 1 to 2 there is a meeting from 2 to 3 there is a meeting from 3 to 4 and then there is a meeting from 1 to 3 okay so there are four meetings now what is saying is that we have to uh, we like minimum number of meetings minimum number of meetings i have to remove so that the rest of the meetings i can take okay I, if i will say in the uh, simplified terms so interval basically means meeting here and suppose there is a meeting from 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 and 1 to 3 okay all four meetings are there and all four have the same importance okay all right so how many minimum meetings i have to leave how many minimum meetings i have to leave so that there are no overlapping meetings okay all right so basically here one two three one three this meeting i will leave uh, because uh, after that i can take three meetings i can take three meetings because one two two and then two two three two meetings are there in this interval but here it is only one so i will take two meetings and remove one because all are have the same importance okay all right similarly here one meeting is from one two three another meeting is from one two three and another meeting is again from one two three so there are three meetings in the same interval i have to leave two so i will take any one of them okay all right after that this intervals so here one meeting is from 1 to 2 another meeting is from 5 to 10 another meeting is from 18 to 35 and another meeting is from 40 to 45 so you can see there are no overlapping meetings there are no overlapping meetings so i can take all of them so minimum number of skips minimum number of meetings i have to leave will be zero okay all right i hope the problem statement will be very very clear to you and now let's see how we can code it how we how what are the approach i'm going to take okay all right so look here the thing is we can solve it in two ways we can solve it in two ways first one is to find the in uh, overlapping meetings first one is to find the overlapping meetings okay and uh, second one is to find how many meetings i can take how many meetings i can comfortably take and after that uh, like we have the all number of meetings minus how many number of meetings i can comfortably take so remaining will be the skips remaining i will get the skips i hope this point is clear like total number of meetings minus how many meetings i can comfortably take and uh, its result will be equal to the the minimum number of meetings i have to leave okay all right so yeah we will take this approach only so now we have to count how many meetings i can comfortably take okay all right so one very uh, important observation you will see is one very important observation is ki suppose i have to take a small small interval meeting instead of a big meeting okay all right one one more time what i'm saying suppose there are two meetings from one to three one to two and two to three and there's another meeting from one to three so i have to take i have to take the small intervals meeting i have to take small intervals meeting instead of taking the large interval meeting. okay all right so how can i do achieve that how can i achieve that if i will sort my array of intervals on the increasing order of this increasing order of first index not zero index first index if i will sort it on that basis so i can achieve that how let me explain you so if i will sort this on the basis of first index increasing order my output will be something like one to two after that two to three after that one to three after that three to four okay all right so these will be the meetings after sorting all right so first meeting i will always take i will always take first meeting my count will be one okay and my end my end is what end is two because like first meeting i have taken the meeting i have taken so it's ending at two okay all right after that this is done move to the next meeting two two three so this next meeting is starting from two next meeting is starting from two and uh, like if any meeting is starting from two and another at ending at two so i can take i can take both i can take both okay so after that now count how many meetings i can take is two because two to three i can also take okay and now my end has become three my end has become three okay after that we move to this one three okay all right so here you can see this meeting my current meeting which i have taken is ending at three but this meeting is starting at one 
this meeting is starting at 1 so i have to skip that because i am busy till 3 i am busy till 3 okay so i have to skip it now okay all right now after that this is done we move to this 3 to 4 so my meeting is ending at 3 and this is starting at 3 so i can take both 2 to 3 like i am busy from 1 to 3 and after that 3 to 4 i've got another meeting so yeah i can simply take that i will mark my end to 4 and count will be 1 plus as well so count will become 3 okay so it means there are three meetings there are three meetings which i can comfortably take so i will return intervals dot length that is 4 minus 3 is equal to 1 okay so one meeting i have to skip i hope the problem explanation will be very very clear to you you can take as many examples you want and uh, you will always get the desired output the main thing which i told is i have to take the small small difference meetings instead of the big intervals big intervals okay all right so that like one to two two to three i can take two meetings but if i will take this one to three i have to skip two meetings so minimum number of skipping i have to do minimum intervals i need to remove so yeah I will only take one okay all right so in this way you can code it if you want i can explain with one more example as well but uh, something like let's say two to three after that there is a meeting from let's say one to four and then there is a meeting from five to four okay so these are the oh, sorry, sorry four to five something like this these are the three intervals which are in sorted order descending okay so always i will take always i will take the first meeting i will always take the first meeting okay all right so let's say i take took this two to three count is one ending at three okay after that new meeting is one after that new meeting is one so can i take one because i am busy till three at any point if my end is three it means i am busy till three okay but here the starting is one i can take that no i cannot take that i will skip after that new meeting is four my current meeting is ending at 3 i can take 4 yes so increase the count okay so these two are the meetings which i can take so what will be the skips 1 comma 4 that is intervals dot length minus total count i can take okay all right so i hope uh, problem explanation will be very very clear to you and now we will move on to the code section for it but before that if you have loved the explanation please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video and if you are wondering watch what is this watch tutorial button so i have made a uh, chrome extension for it whose command you will get in the pinned one so please download it and uh, yeah take uh, utilize the extension which i have built okay all right so let's move to the code section then basically i will one do once to count is equal to one okay and no suppose let first of all first of all what i will do i will sort this array arrays dot sort intervals and then there will be a comma b and after that what i will do i will simply do a1 minus b1 like sort it on the basis of first index not zero first index ascending order okay all right so after that my current end my current end will be what yes you guessed it right it will be intervals let me first of all do something like this intervals 0 1 okay so this is my current end and uh, my count has become 1 because i have taken the first meeting okay all right after that what i will do i will start from first index i will move till the last and and what i will do look simply if you remember the condition what i have written what i told was if intervals i zero is greater than or equal to end is greater than or equal to end it means i can take that meeting it means i can take that meeting so what i will do if i am taking that meeting i will first of all increase my count and after that i will update my int to intervals i one end at any point means ki i am busy till that point i am busy till that point okay all right and simple here what i will do simply uh, total number of meetings minus the count of meeting i can take and yeah guys that is it that's the uh, desired output and i hope it will get accepted as well meanwhile if you have loved the explanation please like in the uh, like the video and uh, guys i become a bit busy in the my job as well so if there is anyone asking doubts or i think it's your guy you guys responsibility to uh, solve them as well okay all right so yeah that's it guys i'm going to see you again tomorrow please download